Today we're unboxing Steven Grossberg's book, Conscious Mind, Resonant Brain. I ordered this book actually a few months ago from Amazon. It's easier for me to look at a hard book than a, a digital. So here we are, fresh from Amazon. And the reason that we're looking at Steve's work is he's got an interesting problem statement. Here we go. Steve Grossberg is contemporaneous with the people that we all know and love, like Jeffrey Hinton, and some of you probably know about Paul Werbis, and the early emergence of the backpropagation algorithm, the Bolton machine, and then everything that's come thereafter. And that's given us a framework for thinking about neural networks. But that framework is solidly rooted in just one core equation, the Ising equation, aided and abetted with backpropagation. Very much backprop is involved or other stochastic gradient descent methods. The point being that that combination of icing equation, energy-based neural network, Boltzmann machine, and all of its derivatives, along with the backprop, has given us a mindset. And that mindset is rooted in an autoencoder. In fact, in the early stage, John Hopfield was using the phrase content addressable memory, and then everything flowed from that. And the reason to look at something different is that those algorithms have largely run their course. We know that by now. And it's time to look at something really kind of different. And the reason that we want that is that Steve Grossberg, way back then, was postulating what he called the stability plasticity dilemma. Now, the others, Hotfield, Hinton, and the like, are physicists. Grossberg is a neurophysiologist. There's a big difference in how they think, in their training, in their worldview, but also what they frame up in their mind as an important problem to be solved. So we're going to do a little contrast and compare over these next several weeks. We'll look at the problem statement as evidenced by Hinton and colleagues, for example, the hinton salakutinov papers, and we're going to look at the problem statement that was the predecessor to that, the one written by Hopfield. We're also going to look at some other problem statements that are really beautiful in terms of how the authors, the researchers who came with major, we're talking of Kuhnian breakthrough thinking, how they constructed the problem in their mind that they were going after. It is so fascinating to do this. But along that whole pathway, we want to look at how a neurophysiologist looks at that same general area of getting a neural network to do certain things. Thank you. I'm Aliana Marin from Themesis Incorporated. Look for the blog post associated with this YouTube channel. And by all means, do an opt-in with us at themesis.com slash themesis. Thank you. Till soon. We invite you to do the like, subscribe, and hit the notify bell with our Themesis YouTubes. Thanks for joining us once again. Aliana Moren from Themesis Incorporated. We'll look forward to seeing you soon. Have a great day.